and I know a lot of comics haven't really been enjoying the whole, at least for live streams or doing Zoom. So have you, I mean, since you've been doing it, have you started enjoying it or started seeing some positive outcomes from it? Um, it's such a weird, it's a, I guess a double-edged sword in that you're like, I, it's not the same as obviously a real show. And that can be very obvious sometimes, but at other times you're like, well, this is what it is right now. This is all we have right now. So at least I'm doing something, you know, I can hear somebody laugh. Um, cause yeah, it's, uh, we're all just making it up you know no one's yeah. no one knows what they're doing so you try it you see how it goes and then that's that's pretty much it so. well i try to get into or jump on a, a couple of zoom stand-ups a friend of mine and sent me an invite to something that he joins and i kind of enjoy myself just watching it uh usually yeah. just everyone's there is doing the stand-up but and I think I'm the only audience member in it, but I'm just nice. having a blast. And I don't want to intrude on them by laughing because it, it kind of interrupts them speaking. So That's I'll hilarious. just write LOL or the emoji face just <laughs> let them know that, hey, someone thinks this is funny. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. Well, trust me, they appreciate you, especially <laughs> if everyone else is comics and you're the only <laughs> audience member for sure. It's um, it, it's nice to like be able to hear people laugh for once. You know, like now oh, yeah. it's almost more normal to not hear anything, and that might really screw us up when we start <laughs> yeah. having an audience again. You're like, can you guys be quiet? I'm trying to. You're like I'm used to silence when I give. My yeah, I'm used. Oh yeah, it's so it's um. Uh, it's real weird. And then every what you know, sometimes it's just like normal shows though with the Zoom stuff, because you're like sometimes it's great and then sometimes somebody's dog's barking the whole time and they don't know it's them and then you know it's it's but that's the same as having a sold out show versus, you know, fifteen people and they're all drunk or whatever, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how it goes. And I felt bad because one time I actually was like chewing or crunching on something and, then <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have my mic. <laughs> Well, you don't, you don't think about it and then you, yeah, it's a whole, I get it. But then you have to, when the more people there are, the more you have to be like, okay, who is that? Who's got their <laughs> mic on? Who's doing, you know, oh, it's silly. But I do think that these are things that can be useful later, even if, you know, things went back to normal. Mm -hmm. um, I learned a lot. I think we all learned a lot and kind of, it's, uh, you know, I'll go work somewhere that's the smallest, weirdest place ever, and people will want me to come back, but there's no reason to or uh, mm. no, you know. I'm a big fan of comedy, and I'm always interested in, I'm always, I find it funny, like different comedy venues that comedians perform at. And I've actually heard you mention before that you've performed at a grocery store. So I'm curious of what was oh, that yeah. like? <laughs> I've performed in more than one situation where people were like opening the freezer behind me, you know, <laughs> like coming around. And um, that grocery store was in Portland, I think. But it was one of those that kind of had like, you know, a little deli, a little, and then like a lot of beers. That's usually where I end up being is like places that are kind of a tap room I don't know what you would call it like they have some of their own beers but then they have like all these different bottles that you can get out of the thing yeah and that's happened to me twice where I'm like on stage and someone is like oh just trying to get this uh this one behind you and so that <laughs> I mean you can't not say anything so I'm like well which one are you picking you know like just, um yeah just uh silly I mean it could be in a normal well maybe not a comedy club but a normal bar or something and they still put you right next to the door so then people come <laughs> in and out of the door while you're on stage like it's just yeah silliness for sure oh man i've had some bad gigs like that <laughs> anyways <laughs> I I would love to find that a grocery store that would have stand up comedy or any places yes. that i wouldn't really enjoy myself going to but if i knew there was a stand up comedy or a comedian out there just going to perform while I'm yeah. doing my errands. Oh, hell yeah. I, <laughs> just I would, just I would tell office. everyone about hey, it. The post office needs some help right now. I'm oh, be yeah. able to help. <laughs> Social security office, it's all those a, boring Yeah, things. it's just a, a two stamp minimum or whatever. <laughs> <I'd say. laughs> 
Not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> it would it would be interesting performing there. But, uh, oh yeah. And you, I've heard you mention on the podcast and interviews that you joked about being ordained. Uh, what made you want to get certified in that and marry people? That's so funny. Um, I don't know why that's come up so much lately. And like every podcast I've done lately, they've asked me about this. But uh, maybe three years ago, yeah, three years ago, I had people who had seen me do stand that liked me, um, fans, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh he reached out to me and asked if i would get ordained to do their wedding and they'd pay me and all that stuff and i said sure it's you know you can do it online it's not that like extensive (laughs) but um i had never done one before i'd done like readings at weddings and stuff and so and in fact i did a reading once at a wedding and the minister was like I don't know how I translated this into I should do stand up, but um, he was like, I here's the reason I did this is because I, I am not very confident in my reading ability. I can read. It's fine. I have always been nervous to read out loud. Mm -hmm. So I memorized the whole thing so that I didn't have to read it. Um, And did your normal, like I made eye contact with a lot of, you know, I skimmed as I would on stage. I hadn't started doing stand up yet at that time, but the minister was like, are you a church going girl? And I was like, no, (laughs) it's like, I'm also 19 and drinking champagne, but sorry. Um, (laughs) uh, But he was like, Oh, you would be really good. Like it was, I had reminded him of a different preacher that he had seen who she also like memorized. And so she could be a little bit more conversational. And so I took that to heart as I can be in front of, I can speak in front of people. Yeah. Not about Jesus, obviously, but I could, you know, and so that kind of, helped pile on to the, maybe I should do stand up thing. Um, but so I hadn't really done, (laughs) it was so weird. So it's like just in their backyard, I put it all together, what I thought, you know, and I, and still now I ask people like, what do you want it to be like? Do you want me to mention religion? Do you want me to not say these certain things? You know, whatever. I give people a lot of options. They were so much like, Oh, just do whatever you want. Yeah. (laughs) And in reality, you only have to say like two things to make it legal. So all the other stuff that you normally hear in a wedding ceremony is not necessary. Um, So I always make that obvious. But for the very first one, he was like, the day of, the day of I get there. And he's like, okay, well, so you do like, like five minutes of stand up first. And I was like, what? (laughs) <laughs> you want me to do you want me to do a stand-up set bef- before your <laughs> wedding bath like he was like yeah i mean that's kind of part of the deal and i was like was it we didn't really talk about that like um so i do it you know and i'm like basically just do material i have about my my family and kind of make it about theirs and like yeah. you know they were like drinking in the parking lot and i was like i've never seen anyone tailgate a wedding <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. just it was silly and then but then afterwards, I'm like, all right. And I was still in stand-up mode. So I'm like, okay, you guys ready for a wedding? Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like, who's ready for your next comic? Yeah, yeah. And then I just backed up and, like, John Legend started playing. And then, it, you know, it, it went very oh, yeah. quickly from, like, doing stand-up to <laughs> we're doing a wedding. And I still, I mean, the whole point, and I still think that people hire me now or ask me to do it now because they want it to be funny. And so... Oh, yeah. You know, I put jokes in there, but I don't really know these people. So I had to like ask them. I was like, okay, what are some inside jokes that like people know about you guys? He doesn't tell me, of course, until like the day before. And he's like, oh, I got really ugly toenails and Holly's truck makes a weird sound when it starts. And I was like, that is it? That's all you're giving me? (laughs) And uh, I mean, I made it work. But um, but yeah, so the reason I got ordained was for them. And now I'll do my seventh in October. So Oh, nice. um, yeah, it's still batting a thousand. No one's gotten divorced, so that's good. Um, yeah, but it's it's kind of fun, and it works a different muscle, and it's nice to be able to be uh, a little sentimental and a little funny at the same time. And um, you know, weddings are nice. So part of the deal for me, especially if I'm doing it because I've done a couple of friends' weddings now, obviously, um, it's like, well, if it's a wedding, I was going to anyways. Yeah, <laughs> like. Yeah to destinate just get me a room just you know i mean they still paid me obviously but i didn't like give them a price um but yeah so then you get you know a whole dinner and a stay and whatever else out of it so uh it's worked out worked out pretty well (laughs) i love the idea i mean i'm not planning to get married anytime soon i don't have any 
wedding plans coming up, but if I was to get married, I would definitely have you, you know, ordain it. But I think yeah. it, you got to, I know you, I know you roast people too. So you got to roast, you got to roast, uh, you got to oh, roast yeah. everyone in the crowd. I would love yeah, to. Yeah, you got to roast everyone at while you're ordained. So just start All roasting right. people. 